Recently, Donald Trump and the uh, Republicans in Congress did a lot of grandstanding and, and took a lot of credit for a federal tax cut package. Now, anybody who knows that uh, spending is what matters rather than taxation, right? Because when the government spends money, it's allocating resources to go to what the government wants, whether that money comes from uh, taxes directly or from borrowing. One way or another, that comes out of the productive economy and goes to the government sector. They are taxing you whether you can see it or not if they are spending the money. That's the important thing to know. So when I saw this tax cut thing, I'm like, oh God, this is just... Now, things are getting better anyway, and this is sort of the new political reality. Democrats looking at, at you know, trying to take the uh, majority of the House or the Senate in, in the midterms in 2018 are going, well, you can't run against economic policy when the economy's good. The economy is going to keep improving because of technology, regardless of what government policy is. I mean, more or less. The government can, can only slow things down so much, but quality of life is going to keep getting better for people. So if quality of life keeps getting better and the government gives people a tax cut and the amount of uh, in dollars, the number on their checks that they get to keep goes up, you know, I, it's an illusion. It, I, I want to say, oh, I, I don't really have a problem, but no, I do. It's, it's, it's a trick. It's a fucking lie. It, 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 government now getting to maintain its size and, and people still, uh, you know, giving it credit for, for stealing from their, them less, but it's, uh, the, the people have to recognize, the American people, uh, humanity in general needs to know, you are more productive than you've ever been, and you are still getting more and more productive every day because of technology, bringing people together, making us more effective, making us more efficient. If government stays the same size, even if it cuts your taxes and it's spending the same amount, it is still stealing the same amount. So I, I have these two stories on the subject from the New York Times. Federal tax cuts leave states in a bind. Now, this is just another way that this is a trick. The federal tax overhaul cut taxes for millions of American families and businesses, but the law also had an unintended effect, raising the state tax bite in nearly every state that has an income tax. And you're like, what, what the heck? How's, how's that possible? So now governors and state legislators are contending with how to adjust their own tax codes to shield their residents from paying more, or in some cases, whether to apply any of the unexpected revenue windfall to other priorities instead. The Tax Cuts and Jobs Act, which President Trump signed into law in December, did not directly affect state budgets. It cut federal tax rates, but also made other changes that mean more income will be subject to taxation because most states use federal definitions of income and have not adjusted their own rates. The federal changes will have big consequences for both state budgets and taxpayers. Ha, 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 ha. Here's to you, American taxpayers. Here's a little backdoor trick we laced into this tax cut bill. Your state taxes are going to go up. Now, Jared Waltzak, an analyst with the Tax Foundation, a conservative think tank, says residents of the majority of states would experience an unlegislated tax increase. <laughs> the state can increase your taxes without even passing legislation. Yeah, fancy that. In Minnesota, the state estimates that residents could pay more than $400 million in additional state taxes in the next fiscal year because of the new federal law. That has set up a fight over how to respond. The state's Democratic governor wants to give most of that money back to Minnesotans through tax cuts aimed at low and moderate income families. Now, that's awesome. Especially to see the Democrat is doing that. That the Democrat is forced into that response. Well, hey, we're just, we're, we're just not going to steal it from you. Sorry, guys. The Republican-controlled legislature wants broader-based tax cuts. Both sides say they must resolve the issue before the legislative side. Blah, blah, blah. So most states face similar decisions because they were they were set up this way, except now this is funny. There are some states obviously that don't have any, you know, income tax and aren't affected that way. Of course, I'm sure there are other loopholes. And in those cases, state budgets nor federal budget has gone down anyway. So uh, at the federal level, those changes were more than offset for most families by lower tax rates, rates and an increased child tax credit. In the example of a married couple with three children, the family's tax bill would still be lower at the state level. The, the changes leave families owing tax on a large share of their income without the reduced rates or new credits to soften the blow. But back to the federal level, feds collect record, record taxes through April, still run a $385.4 billion deficit. The federal government collected a record 
trillion seven billion four hundred fifty one million dollars in total taxes through the first seven months of fiscal 18 october through april but still ran a deficit for that period of three hundred and eighty five billion four hundred forty four million dollars according to the monthly treasury statement the total record federal taxes collected during this period also included a record one trillion fifty billion six hundred one million dollars in individual income taxes, marking the earliest in any fiscal year that individual income taxes have topped one trillion dollars. Congratulations, federal government, you have managed to steal that much from hardworking Americans. But even with that, it's spent three hundred and eighty five billion dollars more. I'm not gonna bore you with the numbers, but you know where this money goes to. The military industrial complex the welfare state, the prison industrial complex, and to line the pockets of so many government profiteers who soon, hopefully, will be forced to find honest means of earning a living. Thank you to YouTube for hosting this video and for being an essential part of human progress by making video hosting available worldwide to everyone on the internet. However, the next phase in human progress is here with Steemit.com and their video hosting alternative blockchain-based solutions including DTube, and you can find that through steamit.com as well as my own page there, at Adam Kokesh. This is a decentralized blockchain-based social media network that pays you fairly for your content. Already, I'm regularly making more there with a single post than I do from an entire month on YouTube. So please join us on the next frontier of the information revolution at steamit.com. And if you want help getting a leg up there, I'm happy to re-steam your posts and make sure that no one is starting from scratch. Just email me one of your favorite posts at adam at and we'll share it on my feed.